In the last video, we covered the basics of executive dashboarding. Now, in this video, we'll be putting that to use by creating the text elements for our dashboard. When we have a very important number to call out, it can be effective to simply show the number on the dashboard with a descriptive label for context. Let's start by creating a brand new Tableau file. We'll connect to data, our Microsoft Excel file, with our Superstore sales. We'll connect to the orders table. And now we're ready to go. The first thing we'll do is to create a parameter. We need a parameter to allow the user to select which quarter they'd like to view. So right click anywhere in the dimensions or measures boxes and click create parameter. Let's name it report quarter and change the data type to date. Let's clear the values it has listed here. And instead we'll use a range with a minimum value January 1st, 2009 and a maximum value of December 31st, 2012. Our step size is going to be one quarter, one quarters and then we'll click OK. Now we need a calculated field to leverage our parameter with our dashboard. So right click, create calculated field. We'll name this in report quarter. We're going to make this a Boolean statement. We want this to return true whenever the quarter of the order date is the same as the report quarter that we've selected. So let's use the date trunk formula date trunk quarter of the order date equals report quarter. This will return true or false. Now let's drag sales out to the label and in report quarter to the filters. What's happening here is that there's no match between any of our quarter of order dates and the report quarter that we've selected. So let's hit cancel. We'll set our report quarter to something where there will be data. Let's just go 1 1 2012. And then we'll try dragging in report quarter out again and select true. You can see our sales is now filtered down to just that one quarter and functions when we toggle through our parameter. So now we have a working number, but let's dress it up a bit to make it stand out a bit more in our dashboard. Right click and choose format. And on the worksheet, let's change the font to trebuchet. Let's make the font size, say 24. Now let's change the number format by clicking fields, sum of sales, and then changing the default number format to currency custom, Let's say no decimal points, and we want to the units to be in thousands. That looks a lot cleaner now. The hard part's done, so now let's add it to the dashboard along with a label. Click the dashboard button to create a new dashboard, and drag the sheet out onto the dashboard. We're going to drag it out as a floating object, so since we're set to tiled, we can hold shift to toggle and switch to floating. Any parameters, filters, or legends you have showing on the sheet will follow along too, just like our report quarter did. Before we go any further, let's set our dashboard size. I'm going to use exactly 1080 by 570. Since I'm recording this course in 720p and I want it to fit, but we'll talk later about the best sizes to use for your audience. So let's shrink this up just a little bit. And now we'll drag report quarter up to the top left. Then hide the sheet title by right clicking on it and choosing hide title. Next to the sales figure, let's drag out a floating text box for our label. We'll go ahead and add new sheets and objects as floating and drag text out next to our label. We'll say total sales in and then have a space and then we'll insert our parameter report quarter. 
Let's make the whole thing trebuchet. Trebuchets a great web safe font and it's pretty much my go-to font in Tableau. So let's change this to 12 and bold. Then hit OK. That's not quite the format we want for the date. So let's go back and edit it. Click on any dashboard sheet, right click on report quarter, default properties, date format. We want to go ahead and choose the year and then the quarter and then hit OK. Now back on our dashboard, the changes are reflected. And finally, let's label our parameter in a more appealing way. First, we'll click the menu arrow, go to Customize, and say Uncheck Show Readout. We'll also right-click and hide the title. We'll shrink this up just a bit and move it a little down. Now we'll make a new text box, and in here we're just going to put the report quarter. We'll make it a trebuchet again, with a large font size, bolded, and hit OK. So now, when we toggle through, we get a large updated label, and all of our data updates. You can see we have a little overlap here, so let's account for that by dragging this over. To recap, in this video we learned that an effective use for a text element is to sparingly call out our very few important numbers. To make them, we created a new sheet, added our filters, and drug out the metric as a label. Then, on our dashboard, we dragged out the sheet onto the canvas and added a label using a text box. In the next video, we'll dive into period-over-period -period calculations.